So this is day four, your craft for day four in your uh, VBS in a box. And it's a cross necklace. There's many ways you can do it because each one of us are different. But if you can find some container around home, ask your mom for just a container to just use. It can be a cup or anything. And you can go ahead and pour your stuff into the cup. That way your beads aren't going everywhere. So then you can make your own pattern of beads and you put them on there. And then Becca's beads over here are a little bit smaller and more challenging. So sometimes she has to, oh, good job, Becca. She <laughs> says it's challenging. Sometimes she has to cut the end off if it frays too much. Um, Diane has <laughs> bigger beads here. Do you want me to do this side? Yes, that would be wonderful. We can do it as friends. What color would you like first? Um, I'm a green. Green, okay. See how that's frayed right here? If I could just cut off a little bit of that, and then twist it with something wet, then it can go through there. Sometimes you can even take something not dangerous, but a little pointy, a pencil or a toothpick, and you can get it to go in enough that you can pull it through. So there's many tricks. You don't have to get frustrated. You just keep trying. And if you're having too much trouble, you could ask an older sibling or your parents to help you. If y'all have beads lying around your house, you can also use those as well. I'm going to show you another way you can do your cross necklace. Since I do not have good fine motor skill controls, what I would do is just tie this off to the right length and then wear it as a cross necklace without any beads. So that's my suggestion. These crosses were made by my father and then several other elders in our congregation, men, elder men that helped him, and they sanded them, some of them sanded them, some of them helped draw them out, cut them out, and it took many hours. I think they did like 170 of them. That's so many. Wow. That is. And when you get them in your box, you'll see how beautiful they really are. Okay, so there is several ways you can do your necklace. This one is harder, so um, some people get frustrated with it. But you stick the string through the bead. Sorry, these are fraying. So we pull that through. Then you have to try to get this one to go through the same bead. Now, since these are really frayed, I'm not certain how well I'll do at it, but I'm gonna give it a try. So if you can get both of these to go through the hole, then it's adjustable. And you can make it either a long necklace or a short necklace. And then after you get them through, then you just tie them into a big knot on each side, and then it'll let you adjust it. This one came through in pieces. There we go. Now they're through. Okay, so I have this string here and this string here. And if I tie big knots right here,
And I don't think that's quite big enough, so I'm gonna make two. And I do the same thing on this side, make two knots. one and there's two then this can go to the knots and then if you want it shorter you just pull it up like that but you can put it on now you test it out for us so this is longer Beautiful. That looks good with your dress too. And then I can make it shorter if I want to. Yeah. Depending on what. And if you have paint at home, you could paint them. I like wood, so I like to keep the look of the wood, but sometimes people like to paint on them. And if you don't have paint, but you have markers, you could use markers on them. And it would look really pretty but you want something that's going to follow the grain of the wood. So the way I'm going to do this one is I hold the two strings together so they're tight together. I wrap them around two of my fingers and then I just pull this in here and you pull it and you have a tight knot and that's not going to go anywhere. And if you have your mom or somebody help you, you can make it as long or short as you want. This beautiful. That's a perfect. Color. And that is a and beautiful. That's a perfect necklace. color for her shirt. Too. And then the other way that you can tie is just the normal way that a lot of people tie their things, and you just put it together like this. Like that. And then you put a knot. Kind of like when you're tying your shoes. And you can do that, but you have to pull to make sure it's not going to slip. And that one's good. By the way, that one is mine, and if you watch St. John's YouTube worship services on Sunday, I'm going to wear that on Sunday, so you can see that cross on Preview. Sunday morning. <laughs> there, make sure it fits, otherwise I'll have to make it bigger. I have a big head, that is a problem. It even fit over my hat, so that <laughs> is awesome. There you awesome. go, and it looks good on you, see? Well, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so there's different ways, and if you notice, um, Scott, and Diane and Becca's, no three, none of them are alike. And that's because there's no one way to do it. It's just your necklace and you make it however you want. And don't get frustrated. If you start to get frustrated, ask an adult or an older person to help you. In Grace Race, Jesus won the prize for us. Enjoy your necklaces.